Winter mornings, especially towards the end of the year, are usually full of hope and enthusiasm. Somewhere, the start of the coming new year, no matter how ordinary it may be, tricks our mind into thinking about a fresh start. These days, mornings for us is checking the sunrise time for the day. The shortest day is already over and we are now moving back seconds at a time into a longer day each day. So after we get up, if the sky seems a bit more blue and less black, it's already a reason for celebration. The plants need their light too. Don't worry, they have a nice pot without holes, saving my bed from any water. As we are getting closer to January, the chill in the air is starting to get stronger. And even after the heating, being in a nice fuzzy sweater and a hand cream for moisture is a mandatory thing these days. Given the very gloomy beginning to the day, I chose to light the candle that had been partially used the night before. I was too sluggish the night before to clean up the house, so the place was in a mess when I got up. <laughs> My night chores were so pushed to this day and when that happens, starting with a clean slate is my best way to start. It's a 10 minute routine to put everything back in order but it makes for a nice start so why not? Well, my robo also came to the rescue. With one of these kettles, you'll never be without hot water. I mostly leave them on the hob all day and bring water to boil as needed.
During the winter, indoor plants also require significantly more care. Breakfast plays a very crucial role in how we set the mood for the day. I take my time to prep for a longer breakfast recipe in advance. Breakfast this day was a yummy and super delicious sandwich which pairs awesomely well with tea. I made some green chutney a day before. So the trick is to make the chutney a bit more spicy and tangy since in combination with bread, you really don't feel the spices as much. Another pro trick that I often use is to add a bit of bread crumbs to my chutneys if I want them to be in a nice spreadable consistency, especially for sandwiches. We are going to be layering onion, cucumbers and potatoes, boiled ones of course. All we have to do is layer them and make the sandwich. Don't forget to sprinkle on some chaat masala and black salt. These two ingredients take the sandwich to another level. I like to make some extras to go with the evening tea. Also, notice that I burnt a couple of them. <laughs> well, I'm not to blame this time. This often happens while filming. <laughs> We went for a short trip to IKEA and I thought I'd take you all along with me. I started with the dining section where I spotted a couple of new tablecloths and also the regular placemats. My best find at this IKEA trip were these Lazy Susans. These ones had a whitish outer rim to them which made them perfect for dining table. There were also these larger ones with a black border, for bigger spaces I guess. These are the old ones but I can bet on how useful these ones are especially for storing all kinds of sauce bottles together. These mugs were quite popular at one point of time. On the other hand, these brown ones are rather new. They had a sort of Asian look to them. I've always found these coasters interesting, 
but I wonder if the glass or cup would be stable on them. <laughs> These wooden ones were new and I bought a pair too. My husband was excited about these adorable ice trays, a pack of two with muted colors. Even though I have the larger basket on hand at home, I noticed a quite novel design this time. I've never seen anything like it and I believe it lacks handles. Would be perfect for storing throws and other such items if you want to keep everything in one place. There were some newcomers in the cushion department as well. But my favourite was the black and white one, which if my memory serves me correctly was around 12.99 euros. It will be on my list to purchase in the future. It was fascinating to find this cable box or organizer to store your extension cords or things like that. We also got some tasty frozen snacks after the billing section. Among my favourites are the meatballs which are available in a vegan version in addition to the classic version. I promised an easy dessert recipe in my vlog on Wednesday, so here it is. And for those who don't know, I posted two midweek vlogs the last two weeks. Do check them out if you get the time. Coming to the dessert recipe, first we need some kind of fruit like raspberries, cherries or strawberries. To make the sauce, simmer the berries in a pot together with powdered sugar until soft and allow to cool. Now we will combine mascarpone and heavy cream. Combine the two till everything becomes sort of fluffy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Add a bit of vanilla essence if you have handy or in my case I used vanilla sugar which is also easily available in German stores. This dessert is somewhat like a tiramisu but not the same. We will be using many shortcuts. <laughs> so we will use store bought lady fingers but I would easily replace these with usual glucose biscuits. We will be layering everything and dipping the lady fingers in milk. Dunk them just for a second or two since they get too soft otherwise. Layering is fairly easy and you can be creative here. I wasn't liking how it looked on top so I kind of flattened it and dusted some more sugar on it. But feel free to do it the way you like. This needs to set for at least 2 hours in the fridge. And then we will finally get around to eating it later in the day. <laughs> 